going to be uh, using Diamond. New character in the DLC with the ability to move diagonally, although it loses the ability to use most types of um, items with special key combinations. Uh, going to be a matchup between Greamy42 and Emu Emu. Um, like I've said before, you know, these are both racers who have pretty extensive Condor experience, but again, Diamond being such a new character, um, it's pretty much anyone's game. Uh, Diamond plays so much differently from, uh, you know, compared to Cadence. But they could play like Cadence, which is the interesting thing. Yeah, if you're ever uncomfortable, you can just, you know, ignore the diagonal directions and just treat everything like your Cadence. Um, you know, it's often a safe option you have available to you. Um, kind of did see a little bit of that from, I think that was uh, Emu's side, um, in the Dire Bat room. Um, oh, and right away, there's an Electric Dagger, which I think weapon. is, uh, I think it's the best weapon for Diamond, personally. I, it's pretty good. I don't think it's the best. I think I would rather have a Rapier still, maybe. I, I don't know, because, like, I like the Rapier everywhere else except for Zone 5 and 4. Yeah, very fast. Oh, and a Ring of Peace out of the purple. This All is going right, to be a quick scene. This is a good build. <laughs> this, this is, is going to be a pretty build. quick scene. And uh, Emu's even got that potion, so can afford to push a little bit. Although, it looks like he took some nasty hits already, so um, is on the verge of popping that potion. Uh, whereas... Greamy actually has cheese on deck, so I'd say they're probably about even in terms of health in the long run. So I really hate that this character doesn't get spells, but oh, I can see why. Yeah, the fact that the key combinations are uh, dedicated to all the movement uh, means there's no room for spells. Um, the only way you're getting spells is out of uh, tomes. Yeah, I, re I actually think that tomes are added purely for that reason. Uh, it's time of possible. Oh, oh Emu getting a Leprechaun, amazing. but still using sub-beat shenanigans to kill the Leprechaun anyway. Uh, so losing all his gold, but gonna secure that lucky charm, get that bad enemy. And oh, that's a plate armor. Oh my god, really? In the black chest? Black you don't, chest. You don't so do just... that. With... Yeah, normally you don't You don't go you for black in that, that case. I, in fact, normally <laughs> I'd say you maybe even just skip chests altogether at this point, but um, black chest uh, are really paying off. I think going off. for... Red chest is still fine because, like, Courage Shovel is really yeah, good. Yeah, Courage Shovel, Blast Helm, things like that. All still really good. But, uh, yeah, both races are going to pick up this plate armor. So, um, we got mapping. We've got a good ring. We've got a good weapon. <laughs> like, we could see these races just pushing from here. And, uh, yeah, Greamy with a very fast zone three. Oh, shit. <coughs> I'm, cap I'm double camping, apparently. <laughs> I just now noticed. You know, at the beginning, they were like that, so I didn't say anything. Because, <laughs> like, on my screen, they looked like they were going that way. Emo doing a big misread here, so he's gonna... There we go. Them the race. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Can't believe I didn't notice. <laughs> it's the first thing you check for when you're, when you're doing this, because OBS, like, just does not handle, uh, like, capping multiple windows of the same program very uh very well even if they're named something different it's kind of annoying but uh still a mistake Ooh. i make from time to time emu taking big dunks here i mean greamy is super far ahead though because the misread on Green yeah greamy's been playing really, really well uh too uh, he's been on that two and a half hearts and um of the cheese on deck for ages that <laughs> of course commentator curse as i say that he takes a little hit uh and he's gonna pop that cheese yeah, he's but fine. i mean it's a full zone difference here um boss three four um, useless bomb charm, nice. Yeah, boss three for Emu, boss four for Greamy. A little bit of trouble with this fortissimal. Uh, getting confused and uh, taking a lot of damage, but gonna make it out. It's very easy to get here, hit here in zone five with this character. I feel so. Just because of like how fast the arcs move and the devils and everything. So I actually remember Blimp saying something about um, changing the way keybinds work for like three key combinations. So I was really surprised not to see them on this character with like spells and stuff. Hmm. Uh, is that something that's on the cards? Like he I... said something about redoing the way that keys can um, keybinds work and stuff like that with like multiple key presses. So like. I mean, maybe it was purely just for the diagonal movement. 
I, I like. I kind of got the impression that that's what it was for. I mean, that was already in the game to have like two buttons pressed. Like he made it sound like more than two buttons being pressed being a thing. Hmm. Well, at any rate, yeah, continuing that one zone lead here and it's almost uh, a sub five. It's actually a little aggravating because I wasn't able to get the single sub five. Yeah, I mean, well, that was an amazing scene. <laughs> it's such an Torch amazing of, scene. Torch of Walls, <laughs> Electric Dagger, Plate Armor, Ring of Peace, like, all pretty quickly. Um, when did you even check the black chest with Electric Dagger? You just don't do that, which is just so bizarre that it was so I good. think with uh, Diamond, it's not a bad choice. Um, Diamond has so few weapons in his pool because um, he can't get any wide-hitting weapons or any weapons with the special key combinations. I guess that's true. Well, I mean, like, And yeah, the weapons... Yeah, the crossbows are no guns. Um, are um, the broadsword actually? Like, and I mean, technically, weapons. plate armor is actually the, I believe it's the most, most common. common item in yeah, the black chest. Course. It's just that normally it's diluted by so much else that it doesn't seem like it's all that common. But it actually is the most likely item to show up, and that's made yeah. even more likely when, um, yeah, there's no broadswords, no flails, no war hammers, no crossbows, no guns. Um, Am I forgetting something? The odds are still against you, though, right? No whips. No whips. Right? No whips. That's the most important one. <laughs> no whips. I think that um, I think that actually gives Grimmy the fastest clear in this tournament so far. Just by yeah, uh, very very fast. Yeah, by lieu of getting such an absurd seed, but also playing it really well. <sighs> Dude, the character, this character is only good because there's no 1-1 one, one broadsword. It's the only reason this character is good. <laughs> Clearly. No 1-1 one, one broadsword, no 1-1 one, one whip. No 1-1 one, one axe. Putting a magic carrot there, so just going to map this floor and get an extra heart container. And... That's really good. Oh my god. Do you take Monocle that? showing crown of thorns. Yeah, do you take that? I, I, I feel think so. like I think so. I don't know. You have health already. Like I, I, I guess it's alright. Do you like? Do you take that or do you carry monocle? Oh, oh <laughs> I want all her. of that. <laughs> I want all of that. Ooh. You take the. I think you take the the courage. Yeah. Yeah, I think take, oh, I think really? taking courage is the right call. But I mean, I I couldn't really criticize taking any of those three uh maybe the obsidian yeah. log a little bit since you know I think you did just get boots of pain might be the worst decision out of all of them just because like they can break it oh, i like... just got a crown i was seeing a little, like a weird um interaction with the uh, ring of courage and boots of pain like you courage dash and Whoa. you also get the pain yeah you, uh... i don't know so if it's been like that I didn't know it was always like that. We may be not quite used to uh, diagonal courage there. Um, taking a nasty hit in the trap door, you know? <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to see both uh, races go for a weapon here, and it's a blood Oh, stack. that's really good, actually. I like that. Yeah, that's like actually that. not too bad that's with so much courage. Yeah. Like, with, with staff courage, you just randomly get invincibility all the time, and it's pretty handy, actually. Well, with it being the one range weapon too, you have the um, the pain procking a lot more often on the target behind your courage. Although I found so that sometimes then um, on staff I dislike that a little bit because um, sometimes yeah. you want that those you know those laser beams firing, and then pain kills what you're trying to laser off of, and you're, you're just sad. But True. it does generally keep you a little safer since it does faster. let you uh, you know approach things directly. What did Grimmy try to do with the bomb? He was just kind of wandering doing. around here, despite having mapping on the floor. Oh, I'm switching not quite to war? Sure. Interesting. Mm, I don't know about that. I, I think it's courage. a fine decision. I don't think it's necessary, but I can see why you would want to do that to get the two damage stuff. Well, it doesn't look like either of them going for it, though. Uh, Grimmy missing uh, the flawless, Grimmy though, taking a, a hit bit. on the uh, participal fight. Oh, yeah, just jump down that trap door. You don't want to be there anymore. <laughs> Ooh, it's a protection charm. That's actually, uh, really good. Oh, wow. Grimmy oh, getting bailed out by that ice him. elemental intervening in there. Um, keeping the dragon from snapping him. Oh, that shovel is such a good find. Ooh, yeah, that's really good. Especially yeah, Moo not finding that's actually quite bad for him. Yeah, you don't want to be on Plus a one damage staff. reading the layout very well. 
Yeah, Emu um, looking like he's mm -hmm. kind of having some problems with uh, getting good oh, map the reads. double bomb trap. Oh, I don't agree. With I mean, this layout is kind of like, why would it be over there? But <laughs> well, but I mean, at the same time, like even um, yeah, back on his uh, oh, two wait. three. Oh wait, there's an enchant scroll. Ooh, Grimmy. The build is slightly better now. I don't know if I like Obsidian Staff, but I mean. Um, I mean, I I think it's better than the Blood Staff here. He already has that crown of thorns, so I don't think he really necessarily needs the double speed regeneration. But um, con he considering he's behind, he does need damage. the extra damage. He does need the pushing power to make up the difference here. I just said at half a heart. <laughs> Completely valid point, right? That looks like a potion room there, and uh, spending a bomb to get in with the shovel of strength. Oh, there's a potion for, uh... <laughs> oh, why sometimes, did he bomb it open? You, you have the shovel of strength. Sometimes you forget. <laughs> That's true. So you yeah, I, I, it's kind of hard We all forget, forget all the time. <laughs> oh, he can't get that. Oh, Emu also hunter. bombs into it. <laughs> yeah, and Emu has the uh, battle shovel. Neither of them needing to bomb into that, but going to do it anyway. Uh, so Emu making up quite off. a bit of, uh, yeah, making up quite a bit of time here. Could use the rat to kill that better. uh playmaster, but Grimmy's looking in a little scared here, although he's got so much health I don't think he really needs to worry too much. And uh, beat for beat, oh. both of them going down to four three at the same time. Like the uh the oh. shovel of strength, when I had it on diamond, I actually felt like at a disadvantage over having my normal shovel. Yeah, because, you can't like, you, you lose those open everything um, and you don't want to do that on this. Yeah, character. you lose those diagonal like uh sneaky digs. Yeah, the sneak digs. That's what they're called. Right? However, Grimmy playing that floor a little bit better. But so yeah, Grimmy gonna be slightly kinda... faster for Emu, maybe. Oh, had an opportunity for a six staff kill there, but missed it on the Emu side. So the Grimmy is making it hard to. Yeah, that's true. Grimmy gonna be the first down to zone five, but um, this is really close. Emu just behind. Yeah, they just need to push with their health at this point, I think. really up to map reads at this point. And uh, Green with a slight misread there, although oh, Emu almost went the same, uh, made the same mistake, but turned around, uh, realized that it wasn't the right way. Yeah, like taking damage oh, no. is something they need to okay. do. Okay, okay, that was really scary for Emu. Yeah, he's got his potion, right? Like, if you don't proc it by the end of the round, you did something wrong, I feel. But Grimmy got through that layout super fast. Yeah, Amy right behind. This could be up the Kaga teleports. It honestly. could be. I think you want to go for an Ozuma here, but uh, Grimmy not going to do it. Oh, but follows up with the bomb oh, and the is going to get the yeah, kill really quickly. Be. And that's going to be round two also to Grimmy. That was really close. Oh, and I forgot to give Grimmy the first to leave. There we go. A yeah, very close race. Uh, six fifteen in game to six twelve in game by the looks of it. So about a three second difference. Pretty fast times from both of them. So as always, um, you know, it's a set of three, not a best of three. Uh, both races are going to be looking to get this last point on their uh, on their sheets to improve their chances of getting into the finals, uh, which I believe are on Saturday. Going to be over on Eli Difficult's channel. If you're not following him, you really should, because um, that's where a lot of the convoy magic happens, if not almost all of it. Outside of these uh, community casts, Eli is our primary host. So if you like Crypt Racing, Definitely give him a follow. What if we like memes? Um. Well, I mean, uh, you can follow Elad for that too. Sometimes his meme <laughs> game can be a little weak at sometimes, but you know, he's he's, he's learning. He's learning.
like maybe you need to take a bit of a break, uh, not seeing him enter the seed just yet. I mean, that was a pretty intense, uh, intense race there. Alright, seeds are down for both racers. Probably get started very soon. I think Greenies, honestly, uh, kind of surprising me here. Um, I know I talked about that. It's uh, it's kind of hard to get a read on players here because it's you know it's Diamond, it's a new character. Um, but um, I think compared to his uh, Cadence play, I'm actually uh, really impressed with Greenie. Like uh, Greenie was you know a s decent, uh, pretty solid um, season five competitor, but ultimately didn't really end up. Uh, you know, not, didn't quite have enough of an edge to land himself into the playoffs. Um, I don't think he was in the play-in either. No. I feel like this character is, like, sort of a gap-closer of skill. Because you have less things to worry about. You have more options of movement. Yeah, it's a like, lot easier to You don't have to worry about your build, stuff. like your spells. You don't have to remember your spells in order to go faster. Because you don't have them. Yeah, the, so. <laughs> we always talk about the, uh, the big... Uh, Remember to use your spells. It's one of the biggest downfalls of uh, many a uh, Condor and Conduit racer. Ugh. Grimy, uh pinning himself up against that Dire Bat, though. Uh, oh, <laughs> getting bailed out by the stack oh, of cookies, my. though. Oh, no, but the Curse Potion's infinitely better. Wait, use the Curse Potion yeah, to there we cookies. Go. He knows, he knows! Yeah, after, he realized after eating one cookie, so he's going to come out of that with two cookies in hand. Instead of uh, one. I guess you saved a cookie. Could have saved two. Cold longsword in that chest that Green is gonna skip. I think that's actually really good on this character because there is a quick kill for the gold kill on um, Deep Blues. It looks like he's yeah, with uh, with the with Dagger oh, Throws. Deep Blues, that's funny. With Dagger Throws <laughs> not being a thing, um, I think one damage alternative weapons, even just base like a base longsword, it, it's not a bad decision to take. Yeah, absolutely. No oh, walking into damage from Fonda, so we're going to be seeing this uh, gold longsword for a little longer. Oh, yeah, it's not good. Your Emu found a bunch of stuff on the next floor that Emu did not. Um, Emu recognizes in the lead, going to do a little shopping, finding a blast hole and a rat. He had just enough gold. Oh, wow, yeah, exact change only <laughs> here. <laughs> um, and we got some down rat going here. Down rat's okay. Uh, Shrine of like Luck it. there, uh, I think, yeah, Emi's gonna go try and hit it, maybe? Or, where is... No, he was going, oh, no, he was going our way, okay, yeah. 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 Oh, that poor trap, Dire Bat. <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. So, Gold Longsword, so it is definitely faster, but it isn't... Oh, yeah, there's a Glass it. Longsword at the Black Chest there. Oh, yeah, Glass, sorry. But, um, you know, Grimmy with this Lucky Charm, probably gonna bump, bump this, uh, trying to chance, and uh, that's gonna change me a lot of it. Oh! Oh, no! And uh, Emu may be getting a Kool-Aid man there. Let's uh, like it's take a, a look. It's a little bit easier on this character sometimes. But also harder if you play the game normally because of the torch. Oh, Greamy also got hit by it. <laughs> he broke his oh, weapon. That's amazing. How do you do that? <laughs> that was definitely a very Kool-Aid man spot. Oh, I mean, he's not healing off the Kool-Aid. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's remember. I he remember. He was fighting stuff. He's... Uh, <laughs> finding the glass armor after you break your weapon. Ah, uh, I don't <laughs> hmm. agree. Uh, yeah, killing for a uh, gold blood uh, I don't know about that. Uh. Like, I thought he was going to no, take the... Not when I'm in the lead, you know what I mean? I like... thought he was, like, taking the heavy glass. Even then, I would have found that questionable since he's lost his glass weapon at this point, but... Just for a blood harp? More cookies. That seems Ten... really odd. Ten billion cookies. <coughs> yeah, that was very bizarre. Also, as the slippers and forgot the core rip a little bit slower. Yeah, Blast Helm, though, making it a pretty easy follow-up. And Shopkeeper are going to want to heal up, so... I'm looking for a new weapon, gets a <laughs> new piece of armor instead. Well, it's <laughs> not that bad, I guess. I mean, he does have a pretty nice lead here, and he's got decent defense and, uh, you know, health regeneration from that blood harp, so... I mean, that zone 2 was very quick, 
so I don't know if his lead is really that large, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think especially with that if one. you're used to, you know, if you're used to cadence races, uh, you know, this f one zone lead can seem really big, but um, diamond, like entire zones for diamond can be as short as like 20 seconds. So you really can't count too much on that. Oh, jewel no, dagger. A... That is, that's nice. It's definitely nice with this build because you know you have a lot of help and full protection and the six cookies. Yeah, full health bar. <laughs> um, dagger is really pretty strong for diamond in general, who's a character that kind of relies on you know the fact that enemies aren't designed around diagonal movement. You can really scoot around a lot of stuff, and uh, dagger's gonna let you do that really easily. So, Jewel Dagger is a great find for him. Oh, you uh, found Peace. It's going to help him catch up. So oh. he doesn't break his weapon. Yeah. Um, yeah, Peace Glass Longsword is pretty solid. Um, going to be... A oh, and there's a Courage oh, Shovel. Oh, no way. <laughs> this right, could the open the door for Emu here. Oh, deal with that thing. Okay, I was about to say. Don't leave that alive. Oh, ever. but there goes his Glass Longsword. Um, although, that said, he is heading down to Congo. So it was a Glass Shot. He can, um, skipped it. If he can land the flawless here, he could just uh, get a new weapon and still, uh, you know, be in pretty good shape. Uh, okay, there, there oh, goes the flawless. That might be curtains for him. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard. He's—I um, don't think he's killed his shopkeeper, unlike Grimy. Uh, although he, oh, if okay. he keeps playing this fight like this, he's gonna just die. Oh, oh no! There you, no, go. no! <laughs> there he goes. Unfortunately. Oh. Uh, that's like the panic of like I want to do this boss really fast, but I'm actually not too sure how. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, that's and yo, know, that's something I've, all, I've always emphasized. Um, not not just knowing the like the what in terms of boss kills, but also <laughs> the why. Like the the why and the how, like how does it work? Also, also, why do the, I do if it this, this way? happens, what do I do? And well, yeah, I mean, like knowing the why and how uh, will help you identify what to do when something uh, unexpected yeah. happens. And Kanga Three, I think, oh, is a fight bomb that bomb a bomb lot bomb. of players like just kind of know the like how to walk up and bomb the throne and be done with it. Um, Kanga Three is a pretty tough fight, otherwise. This is just a uh, should be free win for Grimmy at this point with how much health he has and five cookies. Everyone for protection. Keep saying health, but it's basically the same effective health. <laughs> Imagine oh, if he didn't okay. have a bomb here. <laughs> okay. Well, the nightmare was going to help out anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was nice. That's so dumb. Yeah, perfect teleport to the exit in the potion room right next to it, too. So much hate. Like it's clearly ahead too. Shouldn't shouldn't be taking tele monkeys, I would say. Yeah, I'm pretty I sure that was a an horrible idea. I'm pretty sure that, that was, was like an accidental one. teleport, but that was the fourth one they took. <laughs> it had to be intentional. No, well, maybe <laughs> maybe at least some of them were intentional. It's hard to okay, say. Fair. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got blast helm and uh, bomb charm here. Yep. No iframes, but it doesn't matter because everything dies, except for the earth dragon. And I guess the uh, the orbs. Oh, he got uh, curse wraith. Oh. Oh, and lost a heart before cookies, he ate his cookies. cookies. Eat the cookies. Oh. The rat, the down rat, doing some bad things because you never put a rat down. But um, yeah, it's not enough to open the door for Emu, who is, you know, making decent time in his catch-up, but <laughs> yeah, let's tell him Bomb Charm, uh, just gonna nail Death Metal three times yeah, in a row, and that is, uh, 3-0 for Grimmy.